Nama Creature, IUPAC means International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. Branch or chain alkanes are named according to the following rules. Step 1. Choose the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms. This chain determines the parent's name for alkanes. Example, the longest continuous chain of carbon atom is from left to right, which consists of 6 carbon. So, the parent's name of alkane is called hexane. Example for the second structure, the longest continuous chain of carbon atom is start from left to down, which consists of 7 carbon. So, the parent's name is called heptane. Step 2. Number the longest chain beginning with the end of the chain nearer the substituent. Example, this structure has one substituent group, CH3. So, start the number of longest chain of carbon from right to left. Next example, this structure has one substituent group CH3. So start numbering of the longer chain of carbon from here to the left side. Step 3. Use rule number 2 to locate the position of the substituent. The position and the name of the substituent must be written in front of the parent chain. Numbers are separated from words by a dash. Example, this structure has one substituent group, CH3, and the parent chain is from right to left, consists of 6 carbon. The name is hexane. One substituent group, CH3, is bonded to carbon number 2 and the name is called metal. So the IOPAT name is 2 metal hexane. Next example, it has one substituent group CH3 bonded to the parent chain consists of 7 carbon. It's called hexane. Substituent group is bonded to carbon number 3. It's called metal. So the IOPAT name is 3 metal hectane. Some common name of substituent group. Start from the 1 carbon. The structure of substituent group is CH3. The name is called metal. 2 carbon, the structure is CH2, CH3, the name is called ethyl. And 3 carbon, the structure is CH2, CH2, CH3, the name is called propyl, isopropyl. And 4 carbon, the structure is CH2, CH2, CH3, the name is called butyl. Another example of substituent group consists of 4 carbon is called isobutyl, set butyl, and third butyl. So the structure of the substituent group with 5 carbon is called neopental. The substituent group with cyclic structure with 3 carbon the name is called cyclopropyl. Cyclic structure with 4 carbon. The name is called cyclobutyl. Benzene ring or C6H5. The name is called phenyl. Benzene ring with CH2. The name is called benza. The substituent group from elements of group 17, like Br, the name is called bromo, Cl, chloro, S, chloro, 
Oro, I Iodo. The structure of OH group is called hydroxyl and has two amino CN cyano and O2 nitro. Step 4. If two or more substituents are present, give each substituent a number corresponding to its location on the longest chain. The substituent should be list alphabetically and in alphabetizing the prefix di, tri, tetra, set, third are ignored, except iso and mu. Example, for this structure, the longest chain of carbon has 6 carbon, so the parent zim is called hexene. This structure is bonded to two substituent groups. One of the substituent groups is CH3. The name is called metar, bonded to carbon number 2. Another one substituent group is CH2CH3. The name is called ethar. It's bonded to carbon number 4. The substituent should be listed alphabetically for the IUPAC name. So, the name should be 4 ethar 2 methyl hexane. Step 5. If two substituents are present on the same carbon atom, use that number twice. Example, this structure has the longest carbon chain is 6 carbon. The parent's name is called hexene. And this structure is bonded to two substituent groups. One is CH3 group, it's called metar. Another one is CH2, CH3, it's called ethar group. Bonded to the same carbon atom, which is carbon number 3. So the IOPAC name is called 3 ethar 3 metar hexane. Step 6. If two or more identical substituents are present, use prefix. Two identical substituent group is di, tri, tri, four, tetra, phi, penta. Commas are used to separate numbers from each other. Example, this structure has two identical substituents, which is CH3 group bonded to carbon number 2, another one CH3 group bonded to carbon number 3. Two identical substituent group is di. IUPAC name, two commas, three dimethyl butene. In alphabetizing, the prefix di, tri, tetra, third, third are ignored, except iso and mu. There are three IUPAC names given. The first and second IOPEX name are wrong. Because butene is not parent name, this is not longest carbon chain in the structure. And the correct name is number 3. Pentene is a longest chain of carbon in the structure. And there are three identical substituent group bonded to carbon 2 and 3, which is called tri. So the IOPEX name is 2 comma 3 comma 3 trimetapentene. Step 7. If there are two chains of equal length as the parent chain, choose the chain with the greater number of substituents. The first option, the longest of carbon chains is 7 carbon, bonded to 4 substituent groups. One, Two, three, four. So the IOPAC name two comma three comma five trimeter four proper hectic with four substituent group. Another one option is the same longer chain of the carbon, which is seven carbon, but now 
is bonded to three substituent group. One, two, three. The iopatnin, four, set putar, two comma three dimetar heptin with three substituent group. So which one is a correct iopatnin? So based on the step seven, the correct iopatnin should be. 2, 3, 5 trimeter for propylhexane because bonded to greater number of the substituent group. Step 8. If branching occurs at n equal distance from either end of the longer chain, choose the name that gives the lower number at the first point of difference. The structure is given. The first option. Start numbering the longest carbon chain from right to left. The iopatnin, 2,35 trimetaheptin. The second option, start numbering the longest of carbon chain from left to right. The iopatnin is 2,4,5 trimetaheptin. But the correct iopatnin should be Number one, because based on the step eight, we always give a lower number of the substituent group. 